YouTube. Hey, yeah, this is a uh, I sort of a little play around this little experiment with what would happen if I created two coils and they're going to be the same uh, inductance, which on these is four. It's just over four milli henry, four point zero five milli henry, and they're near enough both, near enough both the same, meaning they're sort of like a ten uh, mm, milli henry out of each other, if that. So we got the little oscillating circuit, yeah, little two two uh, two n two 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 twenty two k resistor and the LED, and it works. So, and what I wanted to do was see if this coupling here, uh, flux coupling, how much difference there would be if I put a ferrite rod inside here, inside here, uh, not and, because I haven't got two ferrite rods, I've already got one, so I can only do it all inside here. Well, after some playing around, it's better in this one for the output uh, going onto the scope. Which is just set up there. Uh, we're at 20 volts per division on the end. And at the minute, there's a little tiny bit of oscillation because it's it's uh, <coughs> it's this distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push a bit of screwdriver that, and as you can see over there, as I push it closer together, so that's at that distance, and as I push it closer. goes up and we got 33 volts yeah and that's at that distance and pull that back again and then use this and this is set here so it only goes down a certain depth and this is pretty much where it's at its strongest I could faff about and try and tweak it a bit better, but it's you know it's just about there, and I'm just gonna pop that in the top. And uh, over there we're at that distance, we've got 4.3 volts already, and this is at a, it says a frequency of uh, 4.5 megahertz. So I just push that together, and even at that distance, look, we've already got 10 volts. This is RMS as well. Uh, we've put it uh, halfway in, 23 volts, 25. that's on 37 volts, 45 volts, 50 volts, and that's back to pretty much how close the other one was. In fact, if that goes off there, I'm going to turn that down one, that's probably a bit too close because it's going a little bit, a little bit out there, so we want to keep that, don't we? A nice sinusoidal wave and there we go oh so about 52 volts about 51 volts say 50 volts uh, and that's nice that's 50 volts I suppose it is going to have a difference when we go near it and as you can see if I just pull that away a bit take that out Down. There we go. I don't know what's happening in the signal. I think I need to um, redo it. I have to turn that down again for not being so sensitive. Oh, that's still pretty good. So, well, all I was trying to show anyway was. Um, that if you put a ferrite core in the ferrite rod, if I put it all the way to the end on this, you know, like this, it, it's not as good. It's not as good like over there. You can see we've got nothing. You've got to put it pretty close together, nothing. If I start pulling that rod out, there you go, look. And then we get the, uh, but that's pulled out, so. Uh, yeah. And just before I uh, before I leave that, just look at the voltage look and the current that's been drawn. And over there it says we've got 18 volts on this side. I'm just going to turn out this light. 
it's not very good. But there you can see. There you go. Do you see how close I've got to be to get this to light up with this tube? So really, from this side, I'm going to get pretty close to that main coil. But look. <laughs> So that's coming off that second one. Thanks for watching.